Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I do upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday at 6 a.m. Central, so I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Okay, so it is time for my favorites video for February. There are a lot of favorites this month to get through, so I wanna just kinda dive right in. The first one is a coat. It's a line I'd never heard of before. I just ordered it because I thought it looked pretty and I liked the idea of it. It's more of a topper um, oversized, so it's really great for layering. You may remember this from the blog. I brought it with me to New York for the couple of days I was there for Fashion Week. Um, the line is called Selected Femme. The blend of the coat is a mix of cashmere and wool. It's very lightweight. Um, but what I loved about it I like the back, it's very chic. It has that sort of panel in the back, that vent in the back. It's got really nice pockets, it's belted. You can layer it over sweaters very handily and easily. I could layer it over a moto jacket if I wanted to. I could layer it over a blouse. And so, you know, I sometimes I have trouble with my jackets that are more fitted layering over things. So if you want to layer over a blazer, for example, this is the perfect topper, the perfect coat for that. And then you just add some extra warmth with your hat and your scarf and your gloves. Um, but it's just a beautiful color. It's very neutral and versatile. It really is that true blush tone. So it just adds some lightness to your wardrobe in the winter. It's just a really lovely coat. Um, it's funny because somebody on Instagram, you know, you just get some really interesting, sometimes not so positive comments, but somebody was like, I'm so sick of your pink coat. <laughs> you know, the one, the military style guest coat. Um, so I was like, well, maybe I need to get a new coat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, that's not why I really bought the coat. I bought the coat because I love it. But anyway, it's another option for those of you who might be, <laughs> wink, wink, sick of the pink guest coat that I've been talking about for three years. So um, yeah, and I love that it's a little bit longer. It'll work if you're taller. It'll work if you're more petite. It's a great length, great coat. Favorite number two, if you've been paying attention to the blog at all, you will definitely recognize this. It's the Carlisle Satchel by Henry Bendel. And it's in a color called sea salt. So it's not a true white, it's an off-white, basically. There are a couple things I really love about this bag. The first is the color. I really wanted a color that was gonna work with everything starting now into spring, summer. So um, Henry Bennell now, uh, you know, I have a really great relationship with them and they send me line sheets for the new season. Look, I was really excited about this one because of the color and it has multiple functionality. So you can make it a crossbody with a longer strap or you can use it as a satchel. But literally the most exciting part of this bag for me are the pockets and let me show you why. So I use my phone an inordinate number of times per, the, per day and I always am reaching for it, always reaching for it, always reaching for it. And if it's an inside pocket that zipped, that annoys me. If it's an inside pocket that's hard to get to or I gotta shuffle through other crap to get to it, it annoys me. What's beautiful about this bag are the pockets. So let me show you what I mean. When I turn it this way, so they've got this center section here that you can zip up. But do you see these two pockets on the side? They're both like perfect foam pockets. So I can literally stick my iPhone in there and you think, oh, well, that's gonna fall out. No, no it doesn't. I can really tip it, it doesn't fall out. And then it's got one on the other side. Whoop, just goes in there like that. So I traveled with this bag too, and it's not a huge travel bag, but I brought a tote and this bag. So I did this one crossbody and then a shoulder tote. And I really liked that combination again because I was able to keep this on my hip and then just whoop, grab the phone when I needed it. So, and then I put my boarding pass in the other pocket. So, and I think it looks very elegant and luxe and lovely. You know, all of the signature Henry Bendel features, just a beautiful bag. It's pricey, so I'm gonna give you a couple options under, um, I'll give you an option for under 100, I'll give you an option for under 200, and maybe I'll do, I'll try to find an under $50 option also. So 
don't panic. Obviously, it's not gonna have all the same bells and whistles, it's not gonna be the same quality, but I, I think that you can find a great bag in different price points. So I also did a blog on bags in this neutral color palette for less that you may wanna take a look at, and I will put a link to that below in the description box. Okay. Since we're on this the topic of bags, I wanted to show you guys this. This bag was featured in the swimsuit blog. I did one-piece swimsuits, and most of the one-piece swimsuits I featured were all very glamorous, and I will do a, you know more of a ultimate swim guide coming up as we get a little bit closer to spring break, but this is a beautiful bag for beach day. And frankly, just like any weekend outing, like I could see you know going out with the kids on the weekend during the spring season or the summer season, it's just really cool. I love the little um, tassel detailing here. And then it's huge. Now I've got all my other favorites inside the bag. So it's just really big. You can see compared to my head, it's ginormous. Great bag, love it so much. Uh, you guys remember I went to um, Palm Springs for a blogger conference and before I went, I really wanted to get cute pajamas because I was gonna have a roommate when I, while I was there. My roommate was Sam Stewart of Style of Sam and so we had roommated together before, but I just wanted to have cute jammies. So I found this cute little set by PJ Salvage from Nordstrom. It's a little shorts and polka dot top. The sleeves can either be full length or you, it's got a roll tab with a button. So I could actually roll these up also. Cute, but also, you know, not too cutesy and also, um, gives you some coverage. And for me in Texas, it's too hot to wear pants, especially right now. So um, we're gonna be getting into hotter temperatures. I had to have shorts and it's very soft, lightweight. Those were definitely a favorite and a good find. So um, what else did I got? Oh, uh, oh, oh before, I'll, I'll do beauty last. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is Bobble Bar is now selling at Target. And the Target line is called Sugar Fix. So you can buy the same or similar pieces, but for a lot less. So the price point is lower. It's like $7.99, $20. Like this necklace is $21. These are like $7.99. Um, I thought these were really cool, very geometric. Those are also Sugar Fix from Target. I'll put some options below so you guys can check that out. And then for the regular collection, I got um, this necklace, which reminds me a little bit of the Squash Blossom necklace. Very pretty, turquoise. And if you've been a longtime viewer or you've been a longtime subscriber to my website, you'll know that I have featured Elizabeth Cole jewelry a lot. Um, I have slowly been collecting pieces because they're a little on the pricier side. It's still costume jewelry, it's not fine jewelry but it's not bobble bar prices. It's not like $20, $30 a piece. It's like $200, $300 a piece. So um, recently they contacted me, the PR um, person for the brand and asked if they could send me some pieces. And I literally was like, just so excited I couldn't take it. And then the box arrived and I got some pieces and I was like Jason Sudeikis doing the running man on, um, What's up with that on SNL? I was so happy and excited to get these pieces. So I just brought, um, I just got them and I just brought them with me to New York, but I'll show you some of them. So these are a pair of the earrings that I got. Her stuff is just beautifully made and her name is not Elizabeth Cole. That's the name of the jewelry line, but her name, the designer is Stephanie Owen. This is a choker that they sent me it just stunning. I mean, the pieces are just stunning. I love them. But what I also like about her pieces is they're always very thoughtfully designed. So see this section here, you can wear it as like a choker like this, or you could wear it more as a choker like that, which I actually prefer. Just beautiful. And then you may have seen these on um, my Instagram account. These are, or, or on my blog. These are the earrings they sent me. They're huge, but they're so beautiful. If you need like a really show-stopping pair of earrings for a special occasion. I've already worn these like three times. I love them. 
They're so gorgeous. And I think these are still available. A lot of these pieces are already not available. And I discovered that Banana Republic sells her pieces too. I thought maybe they would do a line that was a little bit less expensive, but it's the same, it's exactly the same type of pieces and they're, they're the same price point, but they are available at Banana Republic. So I'll link you to the Banana Republic link below. And then you can also find some, I find some on the Outnet, which is an outlet store, an online outlet store. Um, and that's another place where you can buy it. And then also Shopbop sells them. And then Elizabeth Cole has her own website. This is a pendant necklace that they sent me. It looks, it matches the earrings. Not that you would wear them together, but it's just gorgeous. And you can see the quality of the chain. So anyway, that is another favorite for the month. Oh, these are bobble bar too, by the way. Um, and then beauty wise, I have one really important beauty thing to share with you. It's actually coming from a viewer. So a woman named Chantel or Chantel, I'm not sure how she would pronounce it, has been watching my channel for a long time. And she's been commenting for a long time and not just on YouTube, I think also on Instagram. I think she also follows the blog. So I recognize her name and I remembered her name when she um, sent me this email about this product that she's developed. And I would say, you know, if there's like a, a model to follow for how to pitch people like in the influencer space, Chantel has got it nailed down because she became a natural viewer and fan. And then she, after a while, um, pitched it to me, but it felt very organic because I knew she would, she had already been watching and commenting for so long. So anyway, she developed some foundation slash beauty blenders, sponge dry and foundation blender. There are different sizes, different colors. So here's an example of one. It looks a lot like the beauty blender. What's different about this than the beauty blender? Because there are a lot of these dupes out. So what she did, what she did was she decided that there needed to be a system in order to dry it that was a little more hygienic than just throwing it in your, um, your basket or your bin or just leaving it on your makeup counter. So this guy, it um, has like these accordion rings and it's got stickies on the bottom, little stickies. So you can put it, stick it to your bathroom counter and then when you're done with your sponge, you just rest it. It almost looks like the thing that you would use when you're dip dyeing your eggs for Easter. So this guy, uh, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, I've tried so many of these dupes, but they're never quite as good as the Beauty Blender. This one I actually prefer. I think it's wonderful. She developed a wonderful product. It's, she said in the, in the release that it's um, more durable, tougher, and that is absolutely the case. Like you can feel it just immediately that it's um, not as fragile as the blender and that it will um, hold up a lot better and that definitely has been the case. I worried would it be as flawless in terms of application? It is. I also thought, do I really want the flat side? You see this um, shape, it's teardrop shape just like the other one, but it has this flat side. So I thought, do I really want that? Do I really need it? And the answer is I, yes, I love it. I think it's terrific and wonderful. So I think she's got a winner here and I think we should support her. And um, she said that she'll give you guys 15% off with code Erin15, so just E-R-I-N 15. So you guys can try it out for yourself. And again, you can try different colors. There's a black one, there's a dark purple one. Here's the purple one. And the black one, here's the black one. They all have that flat side and the pointy tip, which is really nice, especially when you wanna get into those corners or around the nose. So her website, Chantel's website is basicbeautytools.com. She's from the UK. So I think she can do UK and US discount for Erin 15. So just go to basicbeautytools.com and that's where you can buy it. So let's support her because listen, I know how hard it is to not only develop a product, but then try to get it off the ground and bring it to market. It is. It's a painstaking, thankless, horrible process. 
And I can say that because I've been through it with my own invention and it didn't work out so well for me. So I hope it works out a lot better for Chantel and we can do what we can to support her and buy her product. But I do think that you will be happy with the product. I think that you will love it. You will love it more than your Beauty Blender. It has the same things that you like about the Beauty Blender, but it has new features that you haven't even thought of that you will love, like the pointed tip, the flat edge, and then the drying stand. So anyway, those are my favorites for February. I think that was quite a bit. It was a lot. There was a lot going on there, but it was just a, there was just a lot happening this month, and I got a lot of stuff in the mail that was really cool. So I wanted to share that all with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, for all of your support. Please let me know if there's anything coming up you want to see. I'm going to continue my style reboot series. I'm still taking nominees for Operation Spread Sunshine, although I'm thinking that I'm instead of hand picking people. Everybody's so wonderful. I think I'm gonna have to draw names out of a hat for this month. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else you wanna see coming up, I know wedding is one that's being tossed around a lot, what to wear to a wedding, so I'll probably do that one and, um, in, in the near future. Thanks again, you guys. I'm rambling on now, so I gotta go. All right, I'll, t I'll see you soon. Bye.